Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim! I'm Kamchak Fisco. Come and join me for an epic adventure! Jessel, are you home? Because I really need to talk to you. Je Jessel? Je Jessel? Shit. Wandering the town somewhere. I'm hoping whatever's up there will actually give us a key that opens this door. Wrong key! I will get used to the new keybinds, damn it. What the? Totally missed this on the first pass. Ooh, gems. You can always use those to make more arrows. Ow. That's Sephira. I can check the bar, but I actually want to come over here and check this, because... What's-his-name was sitting on the dock the first time we got here, so he should be working the fields over here this time. Yep, nope, stop. Get around. There you are, Golvar. I heard you took down some bandits. Stop that. Wish I could have sunk my axe into one of them. Don't blame you, man. See you around. Have a good day. All right, I guess we're going to talk to him, because that's out of that. Everybody's got to be in the freaking, uh, I keep wanting to call it a cathedral. Citadel. Hey, Dooley. Oh, hello. About your uh, fortune, but not, um, yeah. Yes, what about it? Found your brother's chest. You did? What was in it? A warning not to trust the Jarl and a key to his locked room. A key? Harapult left me a key. I'm confused. It was supposed to be something valuable. But it's just a key. What do we do with the key? I'm hoping to see what the Jarl is hiding in his locked room. Dooley, you realize if the Jarl loses his power, Dominus can't rise up because we can all take him down. And it's not this community the Jarl made. You can actually redesign it to be better. Oh, all right. Maybe there's a treasure in there. A big pile of gold coins and gemstones. No. Maybe you could even share some of it with me. Julie, if there was that in there, I'd give it all to you, but that's not what it is. It's going to be information that's going to change everything. Which is also a good thing! I need to get used to the new keybind! Alright, time to go check out the palace and see who all is in there. Wait, did we talk to this Hello, one? neighbor. Yes, we did. Bye for now. So... The only people we haven't talked to is the old lady who's probably somewhere in the Citadel. Somebody's standing out there on the ledge. I need to remember to go talk to him. That's guy. We already talked to her. Uh, put that away! One of these days, I will remember the new keybind. This sprint jump thing is, doesn't end up being worth it. I'll just flip the keys back, because that's, that's causing me no end of frustration. Okay, nobody's here. That's the way up. That just leads to the other exits. We already talked to Marius. We were done talking. Yeah, there's nothing else to confront him about. Wait, who's on a balcony? Does this lead to a balcony and not another exit? Yes, it does. Hey, you you well back an invasion all on your own. That's fine work. Well, you know, it, it's it's something that a manager couldn't do. <laughs> okay, moving on up to the next floor. So we got to remember to check the balconies because people are are up there looking out over the city. Which it is a cool view, but you know, I'd imagine if you're stuck here and you've been here for years. It's an old view. <laughs> hey, dickbag. from me, peasant. I don't want anyone seeing us together. Is Dominus Quintus? He's the only person we haven't been able to talk to because of what happened, you know, our whole confrontation with him in the past. All right, let's check this balcony, and then we can look over and see if there's anybody on the other one, at least. Gaia, how the hell did you get up here so fast? She beat me up here. What? Teleport and witchcraft. Wait, what was the... That's the way up, so we came in over here. Right, that was just the dead end. That was his room. I'm just trying to make sure I have my bearings straight. That went outside, that went outside, so... We're checking this room. Everybody's talking about how you killed those looters. <laughs> Well done. Thanks, but you won't talk to me anymore because of what would happen. I don't blame you, but 
I still need to figure out who the hell Quintus is. I mean, we go back and check the dialogue, but if someone came here under false pretenses, they would have changed their name and they would have told the Jarl their new name. There you are, Jessel. I hear you defended the city from attackers. Well, aren't you making friends quickly? Thank you. I'm glad you came when you did. The problem is, I picked up a note that talked about a Quintus, but I don't remember which person's house I was in when I picked it up, so... Yeah... That doesn't help. Crap, she's not even... Put that away before you trip on it, you moron! Alright, so let's try talking to him and seeing if we can find her, because I think they're the only two people left. Hello again, my friend. Any word about... The matter we discussed. I was going to destroy the city. Well, I hope your investigation has been thorough. I don't want you accusing the first person you suspect. So, who is it? It's not Rikus. It's not Golvar. It's definitely not Vernon. I can see Dominus being part of it, I'll but talk to you soon. I, hope. I uh, I'm still thinking it might actually be the Jarl. So we actually can go back in time if we fuck up. That's something. Oh, well, the switch is over there again. Because we're in the past. Wonder. Wait a minute. That's what's beyond the door. Oh, hey, Sato. Got my eye on ya. <laughs> Why does the Jarl need a guard if there's a dwarf's law. Sorry, young'un. No idea what you're saying. I've kind of figured. So who the frick would be Quintus? I need to check my notes again. So the journal was Sato's journal. He's the guard we just talked to. I had no idea it was him. M. But just thinks he can hide from his own family. He's in the greater disappointment than I thought. Yeah, there was somebody that was hiding from her family. Uh, M. Is that from a Telus? Dearest Quintus, M knows what you did and is coming for you. You need to run now and never look back. The event of what you've done to us all, I still love you. F. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't... Alright, so we can open this door. But I want to do that last. Let's go down and see if we can wrap up any of these quests. I still gotta figure out how to get the damn armor from him. Yeah, I kinda like blew my chances to talk to Dominus or the cook, so I'm wondering if... I should have gone down a different road with that. I actually wonder, if we go back in time, does it literally reset all the quests and we have to redo everything again? I wonder if that would actually be the case. Because it would give me a chance to correct my mistakes and actually approach Dominus more politely. And not use the, the skooma addiction to get the information because we'd already know it. Uh, I need to talk to... Yeah, it's still saying the whole... His wife thing. So I, I don't know why those aren't check marks. We finished them. Let's talk to Orin again. See you no, later. There's, there's nothing else I can do. Oh shit, where the hell's the other ring? Hold on, I want to check something really fast here. Okay, yeah, the auto harvest should pick up rings. I actually changed the setting to do that, so... It should have vacuumed it up, but it didn't. Alright, I'm going to try talking to Rikus again. Orin won't talk to us. We cannot move that quest line forward for some stupid reason. Rikus, where the hell are... There you are. The only way you'll get this armor is if you peel it from my corpse. The only way to get it from him is if he's dead. Because you know, and I know, that the first blow that gets landed is going to get us all killed. You're not that stupid. Never underestimate the power of my stupidity, man. Alright, I'm... Honestly, at this point, the only thing we can do is talk to him, because we need the set to go down, so we can't kill the evil unless we can force Rikus to get the armor. We can't do that. I do want to see if any of the keys that I've picked up can open the forgotten, or not the forgotten, the, the abandoned thingy over here. Because if they can, 
then we can move this part forward, because there's this, the secret, and the dungeon. We can't do the dungeon until we have the armor. We can do the secret, but I don't know what the consequences are going to be to that, and it, I don't want to... It might sh stab us in the foot of moving forward with other arcs. No, this is like sealed, sealed. We're only getting in from another entrance. This is not a way in. So unless the underground literally leads to here, I don't know how to do this. And I... Where is the ring? It's not where he said it was. That's the thing that's just like... He said this specifically. It rolled under the door. It was down there. It was not. I'm going to go check the underground tunnels really quick, just to give them a once-over. I'll go through my own apartment, because I have the door unlocked. And I... Until I get my pickpocket up high enough, I can't steal the armor off of him. I'm at like 98, 99, which is insulting, because I can't pickpocket in here to raise my skill. So I can't steal his armor. That's not an option. And... I honestly, I may not be able to steal his armor. It might be considered theft, even though it wasn't his possession. So I don't know. All right, let's uh, pop a torch here because I don't think I have a shield anyway. That and the whole, I think we're we're able to see that area below us. Yep, yeah, there's the fucker. This leads to the chambers, and I've already unlocked all these doors, but I still never found a friggin' key anywhere. I like having the bloom off and the eye just went off. Now I can run with the torch and it doesn't freaking blind me. Which is a lot more useful, to be perfectly honest. That goes down, so we actually want to go over here first. Now I actually don't mind carrying a torch. That goes to Brawl. We were looking at the one that went to the finery, but I swear to God, there was no ring there, and I searched like crazy. I spent like 20 minutes going over and over all of these areas to see if I could find anything. Yeah, this is the... That was not searchable before! We had to kill the skeever before this could be looted. Son of a... We got the ring. That quest is now finishable. Yeah, I don't think we can open this in any way, shape, or form. This is just showing us what we're going to get to when we get down there. If that's not an altar, that almost looks like some kind of bubble shield protecting something. The great evil, maybe? I don't know. Now put that away! Alright, I don't want to go zipping through Ulrin's house, because he'll get pissed at us, and he's already mad. So let's make our way back to our house so we can get the hell out of here, which was upstairs. I just need to zip over there. Alright, so we finally got the key. We were not able to search that nest before, because we, we had no idea it was a freaking nest. That was not a prompt until after the skeever was dead. That's why I missed it. Here we go. Here's our house. Okay, so we got the stupid ring. This That entire area is now clear. We just need to return the ring. I had a book? Okay. Alright, let's return Habik's ring and finish that arc. I don't know why we're not getting credit for finishing the other arc. Was it because we gave him the wrong answer? Our choices were, like, really fucked, fucked, and I don't know. It's like, how, what? My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoyed them. So you all take care of yourselves, and if you want to see more of me, keep up the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below. Please remember to take that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.